So this is where I keep the Govi controller <clears throat> inside the garage. Um, it has all the wiring for my video cameras and then I just fish the tape out through the roof there out into the soffit. I just came out of the soffit area and this is where I'm going to start my Govi lights. Once I figure out the lights go every five of those soffit blocks then I could go to my computer and I could figure out where I was going to start and where I was going to end all the time. So for cleaning I use this little spray bottle I fill it with rubbing alcohol, fill it right up top and every time I clean I just spray on the, on the rag and, and clean. You don't have to clean the whole soft, you just have to clean a circular area and the reason I use rubbing alcohol is it doesn't leave any kind of oil or residue on there and it dries really quick and actually does a really good job of cleaning. Um, I would not just stick these things on dirty, I read some reviews where they pop off and if you clean it properly these things don't pop off too easy because I made a mistake on the top part and trying to get it off I had to put a lot of force in to, to get it off and uh, and to clean the, the remaining sticker. Uh, they do give you some more 3M in case you mess up so you can actually redo a strip of lights with the 3M again. Um, I would, the day we did it, it was about plus 22, but I wouldn't do it in the cold or, or really with sun beating on it. Um, I would wait for another day then to do it. But if you do it right and take your time and do it right, those things are not coming off. This is a little measuring tool I pre-made. So as you can see, I just slide it in there. And then you know exactly where to clean at the end. And then your light lines up with that and you just stick it on. You don't have to touch any of the, the lighting back sticky part or, or just peel it off and stick it on and it's all measured the same. And as you see, you get the same measurement all the way down. we ended and we had to do the the first joint and we used a 12 foot extension and then another four foot so that we could start it up there and go back along. So the Gobi Pro kit comes with a splicing kit which is this which makes it real easy to uh, to splice these so once you go ahead and splice this we ended up with three colored wires. start by putting this cap on and it has like a it's almost like a ceiling washer and then the joint here now with each one of these once you splice these it has these little clips here you can just stick each color in it And that's how you join it. Screw the cap on. This little waterproof washer, which goes into the end here, and then screw the cap back on. As you tighten this, it squishes this washer, which seals this wire, makes it waterproof. You just got to make sure that your ending. I was always ending with male ends, so I'm using have to use a male end to continue my next female from there to go into when I'm adding the joints in between. But simple, easy splicing kit. With the with the Govi Pros, I think I got two 12 foot extensions and two four foot extensions, which worked out perfect for me for the, the 150 uh, feet of light that I had. Came around the top. This little piece right here is where we uh, use our next four foot extension to get to that other peak. And then we ran the lights down that peak. And then we used another 12 foot extension to come from that peak down to this one so that we could start the lights here. Just up on this side and at the end we just capped it and hit it behind there. So as I mentioned I used the Govi clips that came with it for the bottom section because I could pre-drill and then tap it but I did this with a ladder and it was up pretty high so I bought some cable clips and some 3M, put some 3M tape and then I just used the self-tapping screws with the the clips for the top part because I was on a ladder 
and had my hoster with my drill so it was just easier to do that while I was up there rather than trying to have two drills and drilling a hole, pre-drilling a hole and then putting a screw in. So as you can see my house is pretty high we ended up doing this with a 32 foot extension ladder uh, which wasn't too fun. I did ha I tried to get a towable lift but uh, unavailable for when I wanted to do it on my holidays so we didn't end up getting one um, but that's what I would suggest is book a a towable lift that you can get your front lawn and and tow it up there because then you're not hauling stuff up and down the ladder but in the end we got it all done if you have any questions or anything that you might want to ask just uh put a message in the comments and i'll see if i can respond to it